Hey, what is going on guys? Mechler Games here today with a meta deck, actually. A control variant of Metal Foes. Um, this deck is a combination of some of the new Metal Foes variants as well as some of the older variants like four or five months ago. So we're going to go ahead and get right onto this. I'm going to try to make it pretty quick. So we have three copies of Volt Flame, three Gold Driver, three Silver, three Steelin, and three Bismagia. Three, boom, well, three Magispector Raccoon Bunbuku, and of course one Magispector Kirin. Three Ariadne the Absolver, um, just really great. You can combo this off, destroy this with any of the Metal Flame effects, and search out for your Solemns. Just really insanely powerful card. Um, three Archfiend Eccentric, really good for getting rid of any monsters, back row, whatever your opponent has, it's problematic, really good. It's just an insanely strong, powerful card. Two copies of Apex Avian. Uh, players were actually replacing the Kirins in the deck for Avian. And Avian can negate any card or effect. Well, can negate any card effect, which is really, really strong. And it's recyclable. Level 7, 2700 attack. Just really good card. Um, two painful decisions. You can set up for Pendulum Scales. If you need a scale 1, you can get Gold Driver. If you need a scale 8, you get Steel In. You get one of the monsters in the graveyard, which you can use later. Um, two copies of Pot of Desires. I'm not sure if I want to main deck Desires because I'm thinking of taking these out and main decking two Max C's because Max C is just still a very, very potent card. And I think way better than Pot of Desires. Desires is really way riskier, in all honesty. So we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to just put these Pot of Desires on the side deck for right now and just have the two max c here and we're gonna just test out with that so that's that we have our metal Flows fusion one of the main cards in the deck this is basically why metal Flows is really really potently powerful you can if it's in the graveyard you can just shuffle back in the deck and draw one card you use it make your fusion and then shuffle back and get a free draw and then you can just use your effects to get it back out. And if your opponent MSTs it, they, you know, pop it with like Twin Twist or something, you can just get it back. So it's not even really an issue to get rid of it. Full Metal Fuss Fusion, it's a quick play. Um, well, Shadal players back in the day had their El Shadal Fusion or whatever that they were quick playing to make stuff on your opponent's turn and doing effects off like that. This is really potent for getting into Full Metal, uh, full metal Fuss Alkahest. We've got one combination. This card is just amazingly good. You can special summon back Metal Fuzz when you fusion summon, and the monster has to be in your graveyard, of course. But if it's destroyed, you can add a Metal Fuzz monster from the deck to your hand. So you can set combination, pop with one of your Metal Fuzz effects, get a free search off this, and continue keeping your effects going and continue your board. One Metal Fuzz counter. This card is just insanely strong. You Anytime that a card of yours is destroyed, you can special summon a metal foe, metal foe from your deck. So you can get any of these guys, but Volt Flame usually, it's either Volt Flame or Gold Jarvis you go for off of it, if anything. And you can recycle this back to the deck using Mithrilium. One copy of Vanity, three Solemn Strike, and of course one Solemn Warning. So for our fusions, we got Ori, well, Ori Chalk. We have three Mithrilium. Mithrilium is definitely the best of the fusions. You can bounce two Metal Flow cards from your graveyard back into the deck, and then bounce one card in the field back into the hand. You can reset up plays with this. You can just get, like, you can get back your combination and your counters, as well as your full Metal Fuss fusion. And then full Metal Fuss Alkahest, this card is amazingly good to use on your opponent's turn. So you use the full Metal, oh, the full Metal Fuss fusion on their turn and you summon into this guy and you put him in defense so on your opponent's turn you can equip one of their effect monsters and equip it to them well and equip it to him and he gains defense equal to their attack so he's really really good you can interrupt so many plays with that we've got one copy of draco sack you rarely summon this guy but if you need to he's pretty good S39, really good for getting over like Chaos Max Dragons or anything that can't be killed by card effects or stuff like that. He's really good for that. Obviously, the Utopia to make the S39. Um, 
one number 106 giant hand is more monster effect negation not necessary but pretty good to have still castell bounces back stuff magister paladin for extra consistency if you make this guy you can search out any pendulum card so you can make this go straight for a bambuku and then your next turn you can go for a kieran and get kieran on your board which would, is a really strong play, and that's the main reason I even run this guy, is just to do that. Um, Diamond Crab King, good wall, good for baiting out re well, good for baiting out good traps, really good attack, good defense, just great card. He can make himself 3k beater, and then switch straight to defense after he attacks. One Phantom Knights of Break Sword, just destroy any card, which is really nice. Totem Bird for spell and trap negation. You use the Bambukus for this, and then of course, Grand Pulse just for a good wall, 2800 wall on top of that can destroy spell and traps. For a side deck card, some people are playing Wing Dragon or Raw Sphere mode. Some people are still playing Gamesiel for like Cosmo matches. I don't know if Cosmo is really prevalent right now. Um, I decided to put in Ghost Ogre just in case. Sometimes Ghost Ogre is pretty good. I don't know really a lot currently about the current meta, but I know that Metal Flows is really strong and you can use this to interrupt some of the Metal Flows plays. Just don't be one of those guys who's dumb enough to use it on Bismagia. And even if you do, like they use an effect to destroy another card, you can just destroy that one and make them lose two of their... well, makes them out on their pendulum scale so they can't really continue their plays unless they go in on their scaling, which they lose cards out of their hand for that. Three copies of Cosmic Cyclone. This card is just amazingly good. Pay a thousand life points, target spell or track card in the field. Now, if you have your Arion, well, your. Right, never mind, that doesn't work because it's only counter traps. Never mind. But just really good card, really good counter card. Just really strong. Dimensional Barrier shuts down the ability of using effects. You can't. I mean, you can lock down synchros, XEs, pendulums, rituals, fusions. You can negate the effects of those monsters as well of that type of monster as well as they can't special summon them so it's just really strong and then i decided two copies of typhoon um really really strong like if you get this in your hand and you're playing against a deck that has a lot of um a lot of back row and they go first typhoon is a great side deck option because you can just throw this out and it's just super good You can blow up face up spells, or you can just activate it straight out of your hand. So it's pretty good counter card, like really good against um, anti f spell fragrance and stuff like that. So that is the deck profile, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the deck. It works really well for me. I've been enjoying this deck a lot. It's super fun, super consistent, and I haven't had any problems with this deck. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about the deck in the description well, in the comments section down below. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.